Rube Goldberg by Kirsten and Elise. Yay! Okay, woo. At this part of the project, we load BBs into a hollow metal tube using a wooden block to prop it up. We later realized a funnel was more effective. We used a large wooden block to prop up the tube while loading the BBs, but replaced it with a smaller one to be knocked out by the mouse trap. The mouse traps! This is the mouse trap. This is also the mouse trap. It's hooked onto the little wooden block with some string. This is where the ball that activates the mouse trap sits, being held in by a little nail. Then we use this, which has mechanical energy, to begin the entire process. When the ball is hit and the mouse trap sets off the BBs, they travel down this tube and roll into this little ketchup pouch. Pouch what? The BBs end up weighing down the pouch, which activates the train, allowing it to run into the cookie. The cookie is then hit and moves down and activates the guillotine. To begin with, we press the switch which activates a mechanical energy on the Kanex. That uses rotational motion to hit the ball which is resting in potential energy to go into a linear motion and turn into kinetic energy activating the mousetrap which moves the block from potential to kinetic energy. The BBs fall out of the hollow metal rod utilizing gravity and kinetic energy and projectile motion. The weight of the BBs in the ketchup pouch eventually outweigh the weight of the toy train and the wooden strip is forced up and the train rolls down, going from potential to kinetic energy. The train hits the cookie, forcing the cookie downwards from potential to kinetic, and then it is sliced by the guillotine. The guillotine is activated by the cookie, which pushes a pin out of one of the smaller of the two wooden blocks at the bottom. Releasing the pin, the guillotine goes from gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy, allowing the cookie to slice directly in half. We could analyze the physics of a celebration dance, but that's for another day. What have you gained from this project? We could start by saying what I've lost, which is many hours. <laughs> but what I have gained is physics knowledge, like all the different kind of energies we used. Like, we start out with mechanical energy, and then it goes into releasing potential energy and kinetic energy, and then elastic energy, and then potential energy goes into kinetic energy, and it all goes down, and then, and then this, and then the train, and then potential energy goes into kinetic energy, and then the cookie, and then it splices. And I know that was a lot for you to take in, but it was a very interesting project. How many cookies do you think we've sacrificed? Like 20 or 30. <laughs> May the odds be ever in the cookies' favor. Like, like the whole Anne Boleyn thing, like she was King Henry's wife and then they had Mary who was the supposedly illegitimate daughter and then she got her head chopped off. That doesn't have anything to do with physics but there's a guillotine. Because we made Jar Jar Binks sacrifice himself on the cookie. There's a picture of my grandma. Don't say that, it's filming! This has been a physics project. Yes, <laughs> it has. <laughs> it has indeed. <laughs>